Hi guys, it's Caitlin. I'm gonna try and hold this camera, so let's see how well this works. So, I needed to come on here and do my week 33, I think it's 33 weeks post-op VSG surgery, my update. Um, I'm chewing gum, how rude is that? Um, but I had surgery on October 12th, 2015 in Lowell Mass at Lowell General Hospital with Dr. Rebecca Shore. My starting weight in July of last year was 335 pounds. My weight on the date of surgery was 300.8. My weight last time I came to you guys, I think I was at 213.4. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this week I weighed in at 207 even. I'm super excited about that because like I've said in past videos I feel like I'm a slower loser so to have a big loss like that for me is huge I'm pumped I'm super excited over it I know that a lot of it had to do or some of it had to do with some water weight and bloating issues that I had um, but I'm still gonna take that because that is like so exciting to me um, I just I was really excited to get on the scale and see that this is lowest this is the lowest that I've been in my like adult life I was at 209 like a month or so ago and then I shot back up to like 220 something so knock on wood or something that that doesn't happen again somebody's driving by I'm in my parking lot at work that's aqua taco right there um so this is the lowest and I'm knocking on something that I don't just shoot right the right back up again um I think I got this though and I know that in the beginning of the year I had definitely said that I my one of my little goals for myself was to be in Wonderland by the time June 1st rolled around that's not gonna happen June 1st is tomorrow but I'm certainly not upset or like frustrated or down on myself about it I feel like I've kind of putting it into perspective I've lost 93 pounds since surgery since October and I've lost over a hundred that was me. <laughs> I just honked the horn. I've lost over uh, 100 pounds since I started in July, which is incredible. So I'm not upset. I'm not frustrated. I'm not down on myself. I feel like being in Wonderland at some point in the month of June of this year is completely feasible and it's gonna happen I will get there and I just you know I'm just excited for it I just it's kind of blowing my mind to think that like literally Wonderland is eight pounds away like how is that even possible I've never been in Wonderland like not even in teenagers like never that's never happened so I'm like super excited and then just to realize like that I'm getting closer to goal whatever goal may be it's just really exciting for me I'm very pumped about everything um what was I gonna talk about so yeah so Wonderland I can't even believe that that's coming I am really trying because I'm seven and a half almost eight months out from surgery and I know that they say the honeymoon period is generally 12 months or so so my next kind of goal is to just be at the lowest point possible by the end of this year um, and really push myself as hard as I possibly can for throughout the rest of the remainder of this year. I really feel like um, I have some things that I would like to get done um, next year and I just, I really feel like I wanna be at my lowest weight to kind of move forward with that. Um, I feel like I'm talk talking so cryptically. But no, um, let's be honest, right? You guys are my people and if I know you, if I know you in real life, Please don't feel like you need to have an opinion on this what am I about to say? Please don't feel like um, You need to make a comment or you need to talk to other people about it because you don't you know who I'm talking to I'm talking to you. So um My boyfriend and I have recently we've been talking for a while About potentially having children more children or another child. I don't want to say children. That's crazy um I have two from a previous marriage, but he doesn't have any of his own He loves mine like they're his own and I absolutely adore him for that um, but we've talked about having kids and so I'm thinking um, maybe trying to start at the beginning of next year so I'm really wanting to push myself the rest of this year physically like in the gym and get my butt in gear and then also just be on point with everything so that I'm at my lowest weight when that time comes because I don't want to I don't know I just I don't want to be where I mean I wouldn't mind being pregnant now I mean Lord knows I was pregnant when I was 330 that wasn't even my highest weight because I got pregnant right around then um, I was probably like 380 390 when uh, I had given birth at one point so um but yeah so I'm, I'm trying to kind of plan ahead and I really want to make this like the next six months the time where I literally kick ass and kick it into high gear so that I know I'm pushing through the end of the 12 month period the honeymoon period hopefully my honeymoon period will be like another few months after that but um, I just kind of want to be my best me when we decide to actually act upon that. 
I know they say to wait like 18 months before trying or two years before having a baby, but I'm not getting any younger. I'm 32 years old, so that means I'll be 33 by the time I get pregnant. Oh, maybe even 34 by the time I have a child like that's to me that's too old I had kids young because I wanted to be able to enjoy my life and still be younger when they were older so um, thinking about starting over again is kind of like crazy to me so I, de I definitely w would rather do it soon sooner rather than later so that's kind of where that's at again I mean feel free to judge or comment down below I mean it is what it is it's my life I'm gonna do what I want um, but that's just kind of where it's at. So I've been trying to find people that have had babies after surgery. I haven't found too many videos or anything. So uh, if you know of anybody, feel free to leave them down below. I found I follow a few people on Instagram that are pregnant right now and they've had surgery. So, um, but you know, it definitely would be interesting to watch videos on that kind of a journey. But anyways, I digress. So yeah, so I'm I'm wanting to really kick my ass, my own ass, the next few months. Another thing that I've been working on recently too um, is just kind of the whole mental aspect of this. I feel like I'm having to chant to myself multiple times like a week, like do not make any major life decisions, Caitlin. You will regret it if you do something. Like I feel like I just want to pack my bags and leave like everybody, my kids, my, my boyfriend, my family, and just like go on an island where margaritas are served all day long and just like scoop ice cream for a living like so dramatic um so i'm definitely like dealing with the hormones and the em emotions and everything and i'm just super cranky and like irritable and just i'm a bitch that's just plain and simple um so i'm trying to get that under control but also just like the mental aspect of everything i really feel like um i'm struggling with that lately like uh sj had done a video about body dysmorphia and i had made a comment that I feel like clothed Caitlyn, like I'm down with clothed Caitlyn, clothed Caitlyn. I feel like, like do you, girl? Like you look amazing. Naked Caitlyn, I feel almost more uncomfortable than when I was 335 pounds as a naked person. And I don't know if it's because I've always seen myself big. I've always been big, so I've just kind of got used to looking at myself bigger in the mirror. That was my normal. That was just like the way my body looked. And now it's like deflated and saggy, wrinkly skin, and my boobs are like depressing and they're not like pretty boobs anymore and like so I'm having you know I'm struggling the mental battle you know what I mean I'm, I'm definitely going through it and just really forcing myself to tell myself that I'm beautiful and to tell myself that I've worked so hard I've come so far and that you know hopefully this isn't forever that hopefully I will have plastics at some point down the road and have beautiful perky tits but right now it's just kind of we're going through the stuff that I have to get through you know what I mean I got myself to this point so now I got to work through all the bullshit so I'm really just trying to really get to a point where I love me for who I am and for what I look like and I'm comfortable and confident in my skin because that I feel like is just as much a part of this journey as the whole like getting your eating and getting your exercise in right it's like it's it kind of goes hand in hand the mental aspect it's a mental battle as much as it is a physical battle um, trying to get everything under control so that's kind of where I'm at this week that's what I've been struggling with and trying to deal with um, so yeah that's it you guys eight minutes we're under nine minutes let's say goodbye hey thank you so much for all of the new subscribers i've just realized that i hit over a thousand subscribers that's crazy like you guys are amazing i have such an incredible support system in you guys and i literally cannot thank you enough for having my back for watching my videos for commenting for being so interactive with facebook and snapchat and instagram like you guys are you have no idea how much i absolutely love you guys so thank you so much for subscribing if you are a new subscriber i appreciate you being here if you're an old subscriber or whatever no I'm just kidding I love you too um I think that's about it you guys I really appreciate you guys watching and um yeah I will talk to you later bye guys have a good one bye